Hey folks, today is going to be Tuna Wars. We've got four different brands of uh, albacore tuna, and I'll show them to you in just a second. I, I love tuna, I love tuna salad, I love uh, cooking with tuna, various things. So I figured I'd grab three of the name brand that pretty much you can get anywhere in the country, and then one store brought brand. So let's take a look at what I picked up today. Okay, I have Starkist, Chicken of the Sea, Bumblebee, and this is the store brand, uh, H-E-B, that I, I uh, shop at. Now you notice the Starkist and the Bumblebee are solid white albacore, while the Chicken of the Sea and the store brand is a chunk light brand, or a chunk light type. They're all albacore and they're all packed in water. So let me uh, get these open and then we'll take a look at what they look like in the can. So stay tuned. As you can see, there are quite a differences between the solid white, these two sol are the solid white albacore, and then these two are the, uh, the chunk, chunk light or chunk white. So the, the solid white is, the, I guess they usually try to use whole pieces of, uh, of tuna. As you can see here, the texture is really good with the, uh, the solid white. Same with uh, the, the Bumblebee brand. See, I, I, I like using the solid white for cooking or topping a salad, put it on top of a salad. The, uh, the chunk white, also known as chunk light, you see is like a whole bunch of bits and pieces, probably from different parts of the fish. Uh, you get, yeah, because, you know, you notice some of it is darker, some of it is lighter, but it still has a decent, decent texture. This is really good for, uh, this is what I would use for making like tuna salad, tuna salad sandwiches. So, yeah, you can see the, there's a big difference there. It's just like bits and pieces. That's the chicken in the sea. Now, this is the HEB brand. This is their their solid white, or not their solid white, their chunk light, chunk white. And it looks a lot better than the chicken of the sea. I have to say that it does have a whole bunch of, you know, smaller bits, but it also has like these really nice, big, firm chunks here. It is really good. So that, that it almost seems like it's a kind of a combination uh, and they're, it, it's considerably cheaper. Uh, I think the cheapest was the chicken in the sea. The bumblebee and the star kiss was about the same. You're not talking much. I think they were, all of them were less than $2. Uh, I wanted to go with a higher end one just to see if there was any difference in the flavor, but all the high end tunas that I found are, were packed in olive oil or vegetable oil. And I just didn't think that that would be a fair comparison because these are all packed in water. So, on with the taste test. Let's see how they taste. First, the Starkist Solid White. And uh, I forgot to mention, I looked at all of the ingredients. They all contain the same ingredients. Tuna, water, vegetable broth. I, I never realized that they actually have vegetable broth and uh, salt. So I guess the vegetable broth gives it a little bit more flavor. Let's try the first Yeah, the Starkist is good. I uh, wouldn't necessarily say I have a favorite. I, I, I do tend to buy Starkist a lot, but I do. And one thing to notice, and I'll, I'll, I'll say that after I do this taste test. One thing to notice, or to mention. Okay, now we got the Bumblebee Solid White. Yeah, th th this is good. Like, like I mentioned, this was really good. Now we have the bumblebee. Bumblebee's good. It's got a good texture. I like that texture. Uh, one thing, one big difference between the bumblebee and the starkist is 
the bumblebee seems a little drier. And I noticed when I, when I uh, took the, the lids off, the bumblebee seemed like it had less water than the starkish did. So that might be why it's a little bit drier. It still has a great, great flavor, very mild. Neither of these are very salty, which is really nice. So we have the chicken of the sea, chunk white. It's really good. Reminds me of tuna salad, tuna, tuna salad sandwiches. It's really good. Uh, I think like I think this was the cheapest one out of all of them. It's about, it's really good. It definitely has a different flavor. Has uh, this this darker darker meat has a more stronger fish flavor, which probably makes it really good for like a tuna salad because you're putting a whole bunch of other ingredients in with it. Like if I if I make a salad, this will just be topped on some greens with a, a, a lemon vinaigrette and maybe some vegetables. Okay, now the store brand Itchy -E Pete. That's really good as well. It uh, it does seem a little bit drier, kind of like the the bumblebee, but it has great flavor. Much less fishy fishy taste than the the chicken of the sea. But you know, frankly, and uh, this this one was relatively inexpensive too. I think these were the two of the least expensive. Uh, and H E B always has good brands. I mean, for a store for a store brand. Their, their, their uh, products are really good. So, everything, everything aside, I would have to say it's between the Bumblebee and the, the HEB brand. And frankly, I would buy the HEB brand uh, because it is cheaper and it seems to be the quality is just as good as the more expensive Bumblebee. But I do like the Bumblebee. It's really good. Uh, the Star Kiss, I would say, is a is a runner up, but still really good. Chicken and Sea, definitely at the bottom of the four. But like I said, this really this makes a really good tuna salad, tuna salad sandwiches. So there you have it, for folks. There's the you know, three main brands. Try out your store brand if you can find you know if, if your store brand has has a uh, tuna and. and Look at the prices, it's probably going to be cheaper. So, what I mentioned earlier, one thing I did leave out in this uh, review is the tunas that are in the pouch. I really don't like tuna that's, tuna that's in the pouch, uh, mainly because it's not it's not packed in any water or anything, so it's, it tends to be really, really super dry. I know a lot of people like that for like taking into the office or something like that, because it's just less of a mess. You know, they can just rip it open, pour it into the bowl, and not have you know, to drain it and stink up the whole you know, break room and everything like that. So it's just, I know it's more convenient, but frankly, I, I stay away from the pouch tunas. And now they have pouch tunas that have different flavors like lemon, lemon pepper, you know, just all kinds of different flavors. Uh, when I buy tuna, I just want tuna. I don't want, you know, I'm going to mix it with something or you know, put it on a salad or something like that. So that's all I have to say about tuna, folks. So thanks for watching.